Uh, for the better part of this year, there's been a subgroup of the faculty uh, that has given itself the name Transforming Rural Academics. It's been uh, working together, thinking about what teaching and learning mean in the 21st century. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming so early. Just a couple quick things. Mr. Cultural had asked me to uh, come up and, and speak with his group about a month ago. And uh, based upon our conversation, which I think was a really good conversation, he suggested that I come up and talk to the students as well. Uh, you'll notice from my title, and by the way, titles are free at Apple, they don't cost anything and I don't get a raise, uh, but I consider myself to be an educational anthropologist. I travel around the countryside and I visit schools and I visit teachers and I try to understand what the culture is of the school. So constantly, what I'm trying to do is ask the right questions and not jump to, an, to a conclusion or jump to an answer. My job is about helping people solve problems. So as we decide how we use technology in our schools, uh, no matter what the school is, we have to ask ourselves a lot of questions. One is, how does it help students prepare themselves for, for life after school, whether that be college or whether that be a career? Um, one thing that schools ask me all the time is, what's more important? And I'll ask you the same question today. So what's more important for you? Is your resume the most important thing? Or, is your portfolio the most important thing? And when I say portfolio, what do I mean by portfolio? There are many different pieces to, the, to your portfolio. So the question is, what does your portfolio say? So if I were gonna go out and Google you, what am I gonna find when I look up your portfolio? So are you innovative, a digital native, a producer, mobile? These are things that when we look at it, if I'm going to a college and my resume says exactly the same thing as 50,000 others or 20,000 others or even 10,000 others, how do I differentiate myself? When we hire people at Apple, we don't just hire them for a resume. What we hire them for is the things that they do. When, when I look at someone's portfolio, what am I looking for? I'm looking for people that show that they know how to collaborate, that they know how to communicate, that they know so many more things than people with the same resume. So when we say that, the question is, are you the CEO of your own personal brand? And this is a question that we ask of a lot of students. And the reason I say that is because more than ever, using the tools that are available to students, students are creating. The way that we think about the economy is changing significantly. And that significant change is, we're seeing a lot less routine work done by people and machines because that's being outsourced and offshored. And what we're seeing is more creative work. And when I say creative work for students, I'm not saying making music or drawing pictures. What we're saying is it's problem solving. We have an economy, a knowledge economy, built on people that can solve problems. And have people see, seen the iPad? Have you tried it yet? Is it kind of cool? It's something that when you look at it, when I first saw it, I said, oh, not that exciting. I got my iPad last week on Thursday. I started off by, I, within 15 minutes it was running. Within an hour I was reading books. An hour and a half, two hours later, I was watching videos online. It, it's truly, a, a, it's an innovative device, but it's one of those things that we need people to be able to think those big thoughts. So when we look at this, we have to look at creative work from global supply chain to solving problems that we didn't know we had, uh, it, a whole plethora of things. 